Welcome to a brief presentation on Fragile X Syndrome and the impact on language development in young children. My name is Jillian Hampton. This presentation is part of a distance education master's course on language disorders. What is Fragile X Syndrome? It is a genetic and inherited condition. It is also considered the most common form of inherited form of intellectual disability. Fragile X Syndrome is a single gene disorder caused by the expansion of the trino trinucleotide CGG which repeats too often on the fragile X mental retardation gene, termed the FMR1. This is located at the bottom end of the X chromosome, which you can see in the right-hand picture. A typical person would have about 5 to 44 repetitions, a partial carrier has about 55 to 200 repetitions, and a full mutation has an excess of 200 CGG repetitions. The expansion leads to silencing of this FMR1 gene, which then reduces or completely eliminates the production of its associated gene protein, the FMRP. This protein is critically important for experience-dependent neural development, particularly for the maturation of synapses and synaptic pruning in the developing brain. Common results of Fragile X in children are learning disabilities, cognitive impairment, and delayed speech and language by age 2. There can also be behavioral and learning challenges, as well as various physical characteristics. Males are more impacted than females, and fragile X children might experience anxiety, attention deficit disorder, or hyperactive behavior. Fragile X is the single largest known genetic cause of autism spectrum disorder. Uh, it can also have other comorbidities, including ADHD, seizures, and anxiety. No one individual will have all the features of fragile X syndrome. However, symptoms are similar between males and females, but will differ in their severity. Males are more severely impacted, occurring in one in every 4,000, and they often have significant intellectual disability, moderate to severe learning disabilities, and males have physical features that include large ears, long face, soft skin, and large testicles. Connective tissue problems can also include ear infections, flat feet, high arched palate, double jointed fingers, and hyper flexible joints. Behavioral characteristics can include ADD, ADHD, autism, anxiety, biting, flapping, poor eye contact, and sensory needs. There can also be an increased risk for aggression. Females typically have a milder form of intellectual disability and occur in one in every 8,000. There are also milder, milder forms of behavioral and physical features. Females also experience mild to moderate learning disabilities, emotional and mental issues, and anxiety. A full mutation of the FMR1 gene will not have as obvious signs of fragile X within females. And these females are often identified only by a fellow family member that has recently been diagnosed. Language difficulties in fragile X syndrome can include delayed syntax and form with less intel intelligibility in connected speech, shorter MLUs or mean length of utterances. They have less complex noun and verb phrases and questions and negations is commensurate with nonverbal skills. Their sound production is commensurate with nonverbal mental age as well, and articulation is often a strength for these kiddos. Phonological processing is less developed. There, this is an important aspect to keep an eye out for late talkers between the ages of 30 and 35 months or between the ages of 2 and 3. Some of predictors for late talkers can be limited phonetic inventory, usually consisting of only about 6 to 9 different consonants, and you might also see unusual substitutions of vowel errors within words. Fragile X has significant impairments within phonological short-term memory. Boys are delayed in comprehension and production of grammar and morphosyntax, expressive and receptive grammatical skills, and these are comparable to those with and without comorbid autism. For content, you will find impaired expressive vocabulary and rates of vocabulary growth are slower than typically the developing children. In terms of use or pragmatics, you'll find that the competencies are solely aligned with children with autism. They will be very similar. Pragmatics is a strong area of weakness within the fragile X syndrome. They experience stereotyped phrases, repetitive speech, delayed echolalia. They have disrupted conversational exchanges and problems maintaining coherent and semantically rich conversations. Fragile X syndrome has poor understanding of other people's minds, problems in working memory, and executive control. They also overall comprehension is delayed, sim similar to those in autism. In terms of comprehension, a typical child by age three should be able to comprehend three-term sentences, but the context or past experience will determine their meaning. 
for example, supplying missing information. Comprehension must have a foundation of joint attention and receptive language skills in a child with at risk, um, who is at risk for language delays. These ch kids have more difficulty picking up contextual cues in the environment and will need assistance in this area. So when looking for language delays in young children, keep an eye out for the following. Within language production, you will see smaller vocabulary, fewer verbs, and phonological delays. Language comprehension, you'll see poor joint attention, more than a six-month delay in comprehension from their chronological age, and comprehension deficit with large comprehension, comprehension production gap. For non-language, you'll see that play is primarily manipulating and grouping objects together. There's little combination or symbolic play. Gestures, they will use um, very few communicative gestures, symbolic gesture sequences, or supplementary gestures. Social skills, you'll see that they have reduced rate of communication, behavioral problems, few conversational initiations, and difficulty gaining access to peer activities. So what can we do? Here are some interventions for kids with Fragile X that will help with pragmatics and delayed language production and comprehension. We can provide early intervention and special education vocational training. These are key aspects that we should be doing right away as soon as they are diagnosed. Speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, and physical therapy may be necessary for the child to help with many physical behavior and cognitive impacts of Fragile X syndrome. We must increase linguistic competencies embedded within socially meaningful contexts. Um, there is no specific treatment available for Fragile X syndrome. However, supportive therapy for children um, can include the special education and anticipatory management, which includes avoiding excessive stimulation um, in order to help decrease their behavior and their anxiety that they might experience. You might be able to use medication to manage behavioral issues, especially if they are experiencing ADHD um, or high levels of, of anxiety. However, no specific medication has been shown to be beneficial. Vision, hearing, and connective tissue problems and heart problems um, can be tra treated in the usual manner. And you want to minimize exposure to noise and odors that may prevent that overstimulation. Some research has said that the use of musical therapy can be beneficial for these children. But most importantly, these kids need routines and use of pictures and visuals. Message boards, calculators, and visual devices can be very helpful as well as sign language or any other visual system like an AAC device. Computer software is now available for learning basic concepts in language and math using high interest visual themes for any of these older children who are experiencing these difficulties. Special education programs should fit your child's individual needs to modify classes and their assignments. And children with Fragile X syndrome should be integrated into regular education whenever possible. Each treatment, however, should be tailored to meet each child's specific needs. Thank you very much.